Hello guys, do you remember that we talked about some ways to take care of our environment? Let's remember together. Waste and how we choose to handle it affects our world's environment and that's your environment. The environment is everything around you, including the air, water, land, and plants. The waste we create has to be carefully controlled to be sure that it does not harm your environment and your health. The three R's of environment are three great ways you can eliminate waste and protect your environment. The first R is reduce. The second R is reuse. And the third R is recycle. Now let's all together sing this song about the three R's of environment. Let's learn the three R's of the environment. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Here we go. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Easy to remember, and if you learn them, you will save planet Earth with the three R's, yes. Reduce the bags that you use, whether paper or plastic. Bring your own tote bag to the market. Always make sure to close the faucet. When your teeth you're brushing, turn off the lights. You don't need to save energy to save water as well. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Easy to remember. And if you learn them, you will save planet Earth with the three R's, yes. Reuse the bags that you get from presents. All the boxes and the bottles. If they're in a good state, don't throw them out. Gather the water from the shower while waiting for it to get warm. You can use it for more things like watering the plants or to mop the floor. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Easy to remember. And if you learn them, you will save planet Earth with the three R's, yes. Recycle paper, plastics, and glass. Organics and metal. Separate them by colors. Don't mix them up always. Try to buy those products that have been recycled. That way you encourage other people to recycle too. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Easy to remember. And if you learn them, you will say planet or reduce, reuse, and recycle. Easy to remember. And if you learn them, you will say planet Earth with the three R's, yes. We already learned about reuse, right? And we reuse a plastic bottle, turning it into a flower pot, right? And today, we are going to learn about reduce. And reduce, it is to stop using what we don't really need. For example, you can reduce the use of plastic to not create waste. You can reduce the use of light or the use of water. Let's watch this video to learn some more about how to reduce. The first R is for reduce. If you think about it, there are many things you don't need. When you go to the supermarket, I'm sure you can take your own canvas bags instead of using disposable ones given to you. Like that, you will be reducing the amount of plastic, which is very contaminating. And I'm sure that you don't need to print out so many documents or photos, nor leave lights, television or computers on when you're not using them. If you remember this, you'll be reducing the amount of paper being used as well as energy 
and in turn will be helping to reduce the contamination. And these are just a few examples. I am sure you can think of many more different ways to reduce what you are using or creating unnecessary waste. The following question will help you with this task. Do I really need this or is this just a whim? Can you think of ways of how to reduce? Let me show you a few ones. For example, to reduce the use of water, you have to take shorter showers. And you have to close the tap when you're not using any more water. To reduce the use of light, you have to turn it off when you leave a room. And you have to turn off the TV or computer when you're not using it anymore. To reduce the use of plastic, you can carry your own water bottle to avoid buying a new one every time. You can carry your own bag for shopping and use it more than once. And now it is our turn to start reducing. And today we will start practicing at home some of the actions we have learned to reduce. And for that, you will have to create some signs to put around your house to remember some important things to do to reduce. Let me show you some examples. Miss Sole is helping us to remember to turn the lights off. Miss Andrea is inviting us to never leave the fridge door open. And Miss Antonella is inviting us to turn off the lights. Miss Andrea is telling us to take shorter showers. Miss Antonella is reminding us to turn off the tap. And Miss Sole is letting us know that five minute shower is enough. Now it is your turn to create your own signs. Don't forget to take a picture of them and share it with me. So now go and have fun creating your signs to start reducing at home. Goodbye!